my people welcome back to my channel once again on the menu today is chicken stew the niger way so without wasting your time let's get straight into it so the first ingredient on the menu is tomato paste i like to use this particular brand but you can always use any tomato paste of your choice we have tomato onions um paprika we have scotch bonnet pepper we have garlic and we also have cayenne pepper and of course this depends on the quantity that you're cooking then i chopped the pepper into tiny bits just to make it easier to blend you don't have to do that if you have a strong blender if you have an industrial blender you don't have to cut it into tiny bits like this but because the blender i was using is not so strong that's why i had to cut it into tiny pieces like that just to make it easier to blend so i'm blending them in bits and then um, instead of adding more water i'm using the same puree to continue blending the other pepper that i have left so that's it guys and you can see the consistency see it's not so smooth not like 100 percent smooth and it's not so rough at the same time you know that's how i like mine but you can always make yours the way you like it you know some like they are still smooth and some like it rough but for me this is how i like it this is just the perfect consistency for me so i'm leaving um some puree in the blender just then i'm adding more pepper to it instead of adding water this way we don't need to add, add um water to it just you're just going to continue blending with the same puree over and over and over again till you are done you can see the color guys it looks really nice so after everything this is what it looks like and that's the texture like i said it's not so smooth and it's not too rough that's just the perfect consistency for me for my own stew which i also recommend if you like you can see that's the consistency it's not too rough and it's not so smooth so that's it guys so at this point after blending it we're going to bring it to a boil so in an empty pot i poured in the pepper puree and then i'll boil it for about 15 minutes just because it's not so much you see the quantity so i put a wooden spoon on top of it just to make sure it doesn't foam up and you know spill all over the place and then i covered it with a lid and allowed it to boil for 15 minutes minutes so this was after 15 minutes it's, it's been cooked and the water in it has been dried the excess water has been dried and now to our protein this is the protein we are going to be using and this is this is everything all the spices i'll be using uh here i have dried thyme i have um chicken stock i have salt i have dried ginger i have another chicken chicken stock again enough chicken spices guys and then to the fresh um to the fresh seasoning i have chopped garlic i have um fresh coriander i have chopped onions and i have rosemary fresh rosemary also so now i'm going to season my chicken with all these um spices i didn't use all the spices on the tray guys uh, I, I left some for this too so don't be scared so i poured in all the spices you know from the thyme to the ginger powder to the garlic powder then dried um, oregano salt i added the chopped onions then i added uh fresh rosemary as well that one was also chopped then i added the, the fresh coriander and then the garlic chopped garlic and that was it guys i added water and more water again then lastly i added salt to taste so that's it guys at this point i had i needed to add more water so i added more water you know because we're going to be needing the chicken stock so i needed the water so i added more water enough water to soak the chicken properly if i had time i would have you know probably marinated it before that time but i didn't have enough time so i just spiced everything up and then cooked it immediately so that's it guys i'm basically just mixing everything up to make sure it all goes round 
and yes then i brought it to a boil this was after 20 minutes you know it's chicken doesn't have to stay too long on fire so this is what it looks like after 20 minutes everything is cooked you can see the spices floating on top and that's it guys and at this point i was bringing it out from the chicken stock i didn't want to pour it directly into the sieve like that because i didn't want to pour it with the particles so i removed it one after the other uh in the sieve yes so after that i'm going to have to sieve uh, that's what the chicken stock looks like guys you see it's very rich and thick and you know that's how i always like my chicken stock so at this point i started to sieve it you know just to remove all the particles there's just a lot of particles on it and we don't want that floating on our stew so at this point i try to sieve everything you know because we'll be needing the chicken stock so i sieved everything in a way from the main chicken stock so that's what it looks like you see guys there's just a lot of particles you know from all the spices so we don't need that and uh, we're just going to pour that away so the next thing we did was to fry our chicken of course so i like to add onions to my oil you know onions just gives it this nice aroma so i just put the whole onions like that because i didn't want it to scatter so we fry so after that i fried the chicken and that's it um, this is me basically just frying the chicken you can always fry it to whatever texture that you like but for me i like it dry and so at this point i was frying it you can see what it looks like guys you can even tell from this picture that the chicken looks yummy so this is it at this point everything was coming together already so this is the texture i like my chicken you can always fry it to whatever texture you like if you like it juicy then you don't fry it too dry like that yes so this is it at this point everything was coming together the chicken was ready our pepper is ready everything is coming together so we are still going to use this same oil to cook the stew so because we used it to fry chicken there's also a lot of particles in it so now we have to remove everything by sieving it again because we want to use the same oil so i sieved out everything the particles from frying the chicken and at this point we'll use the same oil so i poured in sliced onions you want to th thinly slice your onions you want it very thin because you don't want it showing in your stew or anything like that at the same time you want that flavor in your stew so i poured in onions sliced onions i put i put in thyme uh dried thyme and also bay leaves so that's it after frying for a few minutes it looks translucent at this point then we'll now add in our tomato paste remember the tomato paste i talked about and you can always always use any tomato paste of your choice but i like to use this one because it's it's really nice it gives it this redness yes so at that point we are going to fry the tomato paste first you know the way we cook jollof rice is the same method so we'll fry it uh for about five minutes until you see that it's beginning to bring out bubbles so you stir it for about five minutes before introducing our pepper remember the blended pepper that we boiled yes that's what we are adding next after frying the tomato paste so that's it you can see the bubbles so at this point we're going to pour in the pepper you can see what it looks like that's the texture guys it looks good and red you can tell um, how excited i am about this meal if this is not how you've been cooking your stew all this while you're missing out on a lot you should try this method and come back and thank me later so there's um this other spice i also love to use for my stew and my um jollof rice you can always use any spice of your choice but i love to use that particular brand then at this point i added seasoning cubes of two different flavors I added the beef beef flavor and also the chicken flavor then i now brought in our chicken stock remember the stock from the chicken so this is curry masala curry masala is a combination of different spices so i also love that in my jollof rice and my stew as well so i added just one sachet of that which 
also came in came out nice so at this point you see what it looks like it looks a little bit more watery because i added the chicken stock so we don't need to add more water to it so that is what it looks like and i tasted it before adding salt so the last thing you want to do is to add salt last please always make sure you add your seasoning cubes before adding salt you know you don't want to add salt before adding seasoning cubes because you it might be too salty so you know we've added chick, um, chicken stock and maggi and all of that so we need to know taste it for us to know how much salt we will need to add so now i added the chicken we fried and then we're soaking everything in the stew like you're just baptizing the chicken basically in submerging it into the stew so this was after 20 minutes guys so we are going to cook it on medium heat for 20 minutes and this was after 20 minutes guys our stew is ready to serve so that is it guys and then trust your girl now there will always be food available ready to be served so this is it i served it with rice of course and you can always serve it with whatever you like you can always serve it with um spaghetti or anything of your choice but for me on this day it was rice for me i was in the mood for rice and that is it guys i hope you're going to try this method out if you will let me know in the comment section and till i see you guys again in my next video please take care of yourselves and god bless you bye bye